I wanted to make a quick video on five reasons why it may be good to have, I know you can't really see it, but a local llama set up at your house. Now, I suppose I should just kind of start by giving a little explanation on what that is for those of us who are not so familiar with that space. And I guess you would say for the purpose of this video, a local llama setup is kind of a computer that is configured both in terms of the hardware and software to run local AI models. So mostly like local LLMs, so things like Meta's Llama 3, um, you have Quen 2.5, which is Alibaba's language model, and just things like that. And in addition to that, you can also run some image generation things locally. And as more technologies kind of go into the open source, it is something that can allow you to play with music generation, video generation. So a local Llama setup is, for the purpose of this video, a locally run, locally hosted um, AI setup. So let's jump right into it. The first reason why it's cool to have a local LLM setup is the privacy aspect of things. I can talk to this thing and ask it questions and perhaps say things that I just wouldn't want to say to an online service that is very likely collecting my transcripts and data and maybe using them for training data in the future and stuff like that. So it's nice to have something where kind of whatever you say is just there and you're in complete control of the data, of your own data, which is unfortunately not something that's really common anymore when using services. Now, that kind of leads me straight into reason number two, which is that it actually works completely offline, sans any internet connection. So following the actual setup of the system where you, of course, download a model and things like that, you can yank the network cable right out of the computer and it will still work. And that's kind of what's going on here. No internet, no problem. That should be a phrase. But no, seriously though, it's, it's cool to have something where network connectivity is not a requirement to actually use it. And while this may be more of like a niche scenario, imagine you had like an Apple Silicon laptop that had Olama on it with a 7B model that was not too smart, but also kind of efficient to run. And let's say you, I mean, if you had a natural disaster and your laptop was charged and you had that, say you needed to like start a fire or needed like medical advice or something like that, you'd actually be able to ask the model that. And it's sort of like an extension of how you can download Wikipedia offline for use case, like if something like that were to happen. But it's almost like that, but with the ability to actually ask questions about what you're reading and things like that. So offline and privacy focused is really the gigantic reasons why a local AI setup is cool to have. So the third reason why it's cool to have a local Llama setup is there's no subscription fees. Now, of course, you have to factor in the cost of the actual power to run the system and, of course, the hardware cost of the system. But I think as time progresses, it may not be so affordable to have a ChatGPT or a Claude subscription and the free tiers may or may not exist. But at the same time, it is very likely that the hardware to actually be able to locally run these AI models will come down in price and become more accessible. And even right now, you can buy an entry-level Apple Mac mini for, I believe, five or $600. And I don't think it would be excessive to say that in a couple of years, that might be how much it costs for a year's worth of ChatGPT subscription or something like that. Now, of course, the models may not be of the same measurable quality. What you could run locally won't be as powerful, but at the same time, it's your own and you're not paying a subscription fee for it. Now, the fourth reason why a local LLM setup is good to have is going to perhaps appeal to a slightly different type of user. Now, these things are actually very willing to role play and be fully customized to a degree that you may not actually be able to do with an online or cloud hosted major LLM. So don't ask me where that came from, but it's, <laughs> it's happily willing to role play with you. So, I mean, I can probably try to keep this from getting like demonetized, but, um, 
So you can see like, <laughs> I mean, this is kind of <laughs> like screwed up and you'd be like, okay, like this guy needs help. But again, this is kind of the major reason why somebody may actually want a local LLM setup is based on the fact that you have full customizability and control of the model's behavior. And this is really just a very, very simple, simple example of this. The fifth and final reason why a local LLM setup is a good thing to have is, in my opinion, the educational benefit. This kind of teaches you a bit more about how the stuff works. So instead of just hopping into ChatGPT and saying, okay, I'm just gonna type to you and blah, 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 and you do my thinking for me, this requires a bit more thinking on the back end of that. So you learn a bit about how to set up the computer, how to load models in, kind of some of the different parameters that models have. And these are all sort of things that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do with an online hosted LLM. These are things that are kind of just done for you and you don't actually get to do this. So there is a lot of educational value in this, in my opinion. And if you go in here, you can see that it's running in the terminal and things like that. But you can have much simpler setups, even things like Olama, but they still give you a bit of pertinent information and knowledge about what's going on in the back end and something that you're not necessarily going to get with a production cloud hosted service where you just kind of log in and you just start typing questions to it. So I do think that educational value is really quite important and a big reason why having a local LLM or AI setup is good to have. As usual, I forgot to film an outro, so those are the five reasons why I think it is cool to have a local LLM setup. So, till next time, and I'm working on a new project. I didn't just put this here to look like a cool tech guy. This is actually all going to um, be a new 3D printed little toy like that little guy over there. So, yeah.